I feel like this is like idyllic Alaska. Like if you're gonna come to Alaska, you're gonna do a trip. I feel like you gotta get on a float plane and fly somewhere. Although Adam can sail a boat in the Caribbean, he has not yet figured out how to operate a float plane. Dr. Bob, however, has been flying for over 20 years now. And today, he's taken us to a variety of remote lakes that are home to three more species on the June slam. When you're stepping on and off the floats, I'll spin the plane around. You'll put a foot right here and step down. The water's probably twice as deep as you think it is. If you step off up there, especially if you're holding the camera, it'll be ruined. I've seen that happen many times. Fire extinguishers in front of my seat. There's a 500 caliber Smith & Wesson in my tackle bag. Um, that's for anybody that misses a fish. So try to stick them, okay? All right, well, let's get going. Alright guys, we just arrived at this lake. Oh my gosh. Check that out. That is, that is unreal. Literally worth coming here just to do that flight. <laughs> Even... <laughs> Even if you don't fish, it's worth coming to fly with Bob. <laughs> That's almost like a whole a whole journey in itself, getting to come in here and do this flight, and then you get to fish. So it's like it's like the best of both worlds. We're gonna fish the outlet of this creek. Uh, apparently, quite a few fish hang out right at the drop off where this creek comes in. Oh, I got one, I got, oh, I got one. Yep. Fish on! There we go. Oh, it's a lake trout. All right, look at that. Lake trout, baby. First one ever. <laughs> Sweet. See ya. drop off right here, caught a char. So we're on the board. Woo! Woo there you go. Char, dude. My first ever lake trout. Woo, that's pretty. Lake trout on the board with it. Oh, there it is. Bob's on. Magic carpet fly. <laughs> uh -oh. Got the gray wing. Oh, I'm not mad at this. 
Oh, look at that fin, man. Sweet! That is, oh, that is the biggest grayling I've ever caught. Oh my gosh. Nice. With some interesting weather rolling in, we decided to hop back in the plane and head to a different lake. Cool. I can get this stinking jacket off. One thing I've learned doing these ultimate expeditions is if you can keep people in the nicest weather, it, it, it's hard to have a bad time in Alaska when you got perfect conditions. You know, I'd rather have really good conditions and have the fishing be a little slower. However, that's not the problem we're fixing to face. So I sleep all day and I dream all night with the bar Doubled up, baby. I, I think we got something excited that was sitting below that fish. Look at that. Badass with a great trout. With everyone on the board, we let Bob in on a few casts. And sure enough, he was hooked up in minutes. I was picked up by two men of the law. They said we're taking you downtown. Forget about your call. There's no place for a woman. This one's kind of a pig. Real pretty, big, orange. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Now look at that. That is what we're looking for. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful place. Beautiful day. All right, I'm done. I don't want to catch any more. I want you guys to catch all the rest. Give me the camera. I can work that thing. One of the fish that I have been most excited to target is uh, northern pike. And when in Alaska, you gotta throw a mouse pattern. I've never caught a fish on a mouse, and I've also never caught a pike on a fly. So, we're gonna see if we can't get that done today.
It's like throwing a big elk hair cat at us. There he is. Oh, there he is. There you go. Maybe, yeah. There he is. <laughs> First bike. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> Nice little pike. At least broke the pike virginity. As I continued to stubbornly throw the mouse, Adam started putting on an absolute show with the streamer. Yeah, maybe we ought to go film Adam. <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting a little bit bigger. If we keep we keep progressing like we're going, they'll start getting good. There he is. Yep. I need to get one of those flies. There we go. That was a little better, a little more what we're looking for. No joke, it was so nuts in that lake that at one point I unhooked a pike and I held it up to the GoPro. I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. It was, it was small. <laughs> Tossed the fish back and the fly was sitting there in the water while I was messing with the GoPro to turn it off. And one ate it at my feet. <laughs> We're gonna keep working around this point. We caught some smaller fish back in the coves and off the grass, but hopefully we can catch a bigger fish out here off these points. <laughs> there was a blow up behind mine. See that? There he is. Yep. Woo, that was a good one. Grind, but we got one. Finally, a decent sized pike. Go, bro, let's go, go, Alex. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, we got a double going. Get him up. Yeah. Let's go, dude. Good job. You know, doing these ultimates for 20 years now, I can't tell you how many times people have told me that was the best day of my life. And now we're gonna go to the Outflow River, and it's a pretty good grayling river. Uh, pretty nice size grayling. Should be good chance for some dry fly if the wind doesn't get on us too bad. He's chasing it as I'm stripping it back. Got it. <laughs> oh, dude. That was great. Because I felt like we were firing on all cylinders by that last spot. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is going to be a hard hook set. Let's go. When 
you experience Alaska, I mean, a certain amount of you, it's just going to grip you like some kinds of sinning, you know? Lay right out there, dude. Yes! <laughs> oh, you came all the way out. Oh. <laughs> it never gets old like that's why i keep going back because it's like you kind of need to like experience that purity and bob will tell you like he does that every day like does those fly-ins every day and appreciates it every time he gets in that airplane